Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about two weeks ago, I posted a video that in the upcoming Windows 11 24H2 feature update, which will be this year's annual feature update rolling out starting September, October of this year, Microsoft has added another block in the setup of the actual OS itself that blocks you going further. If your CPU doesn't support POP CNT, which stands for population count, now, I'll leave that video down below if you would be interested and would like to play catch up. But just to let you know, and as spotted by the good folks over at Desk uh, Modder, that so far only Pop CNT was entered into the registry of the Canary Channel build 26058, which was the latest preview build that rolled out um, about two weeks ago when I posted that previous video. And here we can see uh, in the registry path in Windows 11 24H2, which is currently being tested in the Canary and Dev channels, the registry path is HKey Local Machine Software Microsoft Windows NT Current Version App Compat Flags Compat Markers GE 24H2. And as mentioned here with Ball 26058, they had blocked POP CNT, which stands for Population Count which was over and above the normal TPM, CPU, or secure boot um, system requirements to be able to run Windows 11. Now, here we can see to the right-hand side, in last week's Canary Channel build, 26063, that over and above blocked by Pop CNT, they've now blocked by SSE 4.2, which is a, a instruction you need to be able to run Windows 11. And just a quick recap, SSE 4.2 is found on Intel processors and SSE 4. Point, sorry, SSE 4A is found on AMD processors. So yeah, Microsoft is clamping down even further. We're over and above blocking Pop CNT now in the registry. They are blocking SSE 4.2, which is an instruction that is needed to be able to run Windows 11 24H2. Now just on a side note, if you want to check if your older CPU will run Windows 11 version 24H2, I'll leave a video I posted on that down below because I'll just t take you through the whole process of checking if your older CPU or your older hardware will be able to run um, Windows 11 24H2 because obviously Microsoft is clamping down on the unsupported hardware being able to run future versions of Windows. And this means that... Um, the older CPUs, which date back 15, 16, 17 years ago. So we're talking about CPUs that rolled out around about 2010 to 2008, 2008 to 2010. So those are really old CPUs. So if you really want to be able to run Windows 11 24H2, unfortunately, that will be not be the case because Microsoft is blocking and um, because these requirements now have been popped into the registry, as we can see, they are actually blocking the installation process so you won't be able to go further but the good news is if you really want to run windows 11 on an older device that is unsupported you won't be able to run windows 11 24 h2 but you can still use windows 11 23 h2 that's the home and pro version which is the current stable release so these pop cnt and sse 4.2 and as i've mentioned the sse for a requirements and instructions only pertain to windows 11 24h2 so you will still be able to run windows 11 23h2 um unsupported but just putting it out there because this has generated quite a lot of interest and as mentioned now microsoft really clamping down and those two registry entries now have been added in last week's canary channel build but as i've mentioned previously i am sure that someone somewhere we'll find a tweak or a hack to bypass this but um just putting it out there because we like to keep you informed and if anything does change obviously i'll keep you guys in the loop so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one